are back with another game here in the Ocho Trivia Challenge. We have what I think is going to be a really good one, actually, a really fun one at bare minimum between Neil Madrid and Don't Blow It. Uh, Neil Madrid in seventh place, tied for the last spot in the playoffs. Honestly, I'm not sure why you're not in six. I guess you must just be barely behind. Dogs got to eat. Um, Don't Blow It's technically in tenth, but they've been playing a lot better lately. They're also one game out of the playoffs. They're tied with like four other teams, so it's really tied for eighth slash tenth. Um, Neil Madrid, 6.1 points per game. Don't Blow It, five and a half, pretty close there. But like I said, on a, a pretty strong upward trajectory since the start of the season, you know, always hard to be a new team, an expansion team. You have to get kind of get your feet under you, get learn the ropes a little bit. I think that's happened. They've been much stronger lately. Neil Madrid, unbelievably good defensively. So oh, good. So good team, defensively. Which, of course, makes no sense considering they're in seventh. But it's just their uncanny ability to have teams play to their level every time. Um, and then don't blow it is – very strong at celebrity name puzzles. They've, uh, they're hitting two thirds of their celebrity name puzzles. They lost a heartbreaker last week. Neil Madrid lost a little bit less of a heartbreaker. Um, and uh, it was rigged. Uh, apparently, the game was rigged. That's news to me. Um, For no reasons. Yeah, I, I don't even remember why it would have been rigged, but not it, was ri- it was rigged in the sense that my teammates couldn't get points, but I could. Okay, it was rigged yeah. against them specifically. I'm, I'm just putting out that it was rigged. I'm, gl- I'm glad we're back on that train, Neil. I'm, yes. I'm selling yes. the seeds of discontent. I'll, I'll hold. I'll keep staying on that train until they get a point. So this is this is probably one of the biggest games remaining in terms of playoff implications. I think that if Neil Madrid can win this game, they have a very strong shot to get in. Don't blow it. Don't need this game by any means, but it would obviously help them a whole lot. Um, but they yeah, have, don't don't make me take this seriously. In in oh. the. Uh, in the, the divisional portion of the schedule, Don't Blow It will have Priapism and their friends, the Muffin Men, who that that kind of trio of games, you know, I think is going to be able to size that last spot. Anyway, we're going to start with one and done presidents. Then we want to double this. Oh, fuck. Sounds like no. no. I don't think so. Ethan, no. Ethan, no good feeling about this one? Nope. Okay. Um, all right. Neil Madrid, you're going first. Here's your question. Who were the two most recent Democrat presidents to not be elected to two terms in office? Let me clarify. I don't care if they ran and lost. I don't care if they decided not to run. I just need someone who was president and was not elected to be president twice. So do you guys have enough names where it would matter if I can give you a name? I'm thinking mm. Clinton's one of – did Clinton have two terms? I don't know. It's not my one, but if you can come up with three, I'll give you my one. I think Clinton had one, and then I think he got impeached or resigned before he the ran second. again. No. Okay, so that's one. What about was Ford? I don't know. Term? Who? Ford. Ford was, was Ford a Democrat? Democrat? I think. I'm pretty Darryl sure Ford, Ford was a Republican. No. Who am I thinking of? Who's the guy from? Who's the guy from Georgia? Not Carter. Carter had. Carter. Had no, two. Carter's a one term. That's my one. So we have two now. I don't know. I, I'm really not sure if Clinton got, like, resigned or, like, I guess, impeached at end of his term. Second it doesn't matter term. if he ends his term or not. Does he, do he have one term or two terms is what the question is. Let's go with Clinton and Carter, final answer. Okay. Yep. Chance to steal here? Oh, that's who I, I thought that was. Yeah, I thought that was it, too. Me, too. I go, I go Clinton for sure. Um, I don't know about Carter. I thought it was, I thought it was Jimmy Carter for sure. That's what I thought too. <clears throat> okay, but I, uh, I mean, but do we have another name like think... Jimmy then? <clears throat> uh, I mean JFK maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, should we get a shot? Term. I don't know. I have no idea. JFK <laughs> and Bill Clinton. Should we go with? Sure. Yeah. JFK and Bill Clinton. Wait, Wait Matt. Matt, hold on, hold on. I know the answer. Hold on. Joe Biden, Bill Clinton. <laughs> Jimmy uh, Carter and LBJ. LB- uh, really? Damn it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Jay took Clint, over Clint after. Two terms. Neil, I'm very concerned that you think Clinton I, resigned. Yeah. I was no, right. not resigned. No, I, meant, I, meant I meant to say impeached. I impeached. I meant to say impeached. He got impeached. But Did you guys I, know the the or not. I thought he got, I got, I got impeached in his second term, but they were. So they were I, yeah, I wasn't sure so. if he got impeached in his second term or between the. L- LBJ obviously technically served two terms. Yeah. Only elected to one. 
That's why I specified you had to be elected. Yeah. He chose not to run for his yes. full, his second full term because RFK ran against him and he didn't like that. Um, so yes. Anyway, so both teams blank on that one. Here is your question. Uh, don't blow it. Before Donald Trump, I meant to put in a little parenthesis, sorry, primos, but forgot. Who were the last two Republican presidents to not be elected to two terms in office? Same question, same specifications. Did George H.W. get elected twice? Yeah, I think he did. I think he was a pretty popular. Um, Ronald Reagan? That's what my mind went to, but I don't know for sure. Um, was Harry Truman Republican? I don't remember. Oh, wait. Oh, before Donald Trump. <laughs> um, Who do we have right now? Ronald Reagan. I said, I also said uh, Harry Truman, but he might have been a Democrat. What about, wait, was Nixon a, a Republican? Yes. So, so kind of the same trick there, right? Yeah. Do you want to do Nixon? Nixon Should we do Reagan? Nixon and Reagan? We're close together, but I guess we got to go with it at this point. Yeah. We'll do Nixon and Reagan. Final answer. Okay. Right, Reagan. Didn't I, Reagan Nixon? Have, term you have like the mass? I, I, thought it was, I thought it was yes. H.W. and Nixon. No. Did H.W. only have one term? It was, I thought it was Nixon and the guy who did the, the nuclear bomb on Japan. No. that No. that Was that not during... I thought I thought HW had two terms, but I, I I'm not super convinced by it. So I would I would say let's go Nixon. I like HW and Nixon. Okay. HW Bush and Nixon. Final answer. All right. Oh. Well, yeah, Nixon. Nixon was elected to two terms. Damn um, it! Oh, for his no. replacement, no, 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 no. HW Bush and Ford. Wow. Oh, and Ford. Okay. Shit. Yeah. There we go. Said Ford last time, Ethan. Why can't you be saying it this time? <laughs> <laughs> Ford, Ford, of course, being the only president who was never elected at all. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I don't know anything actually about Gerald Ford. It was just a name that popped into my head. Still know that he went to Michigan oh. and he played football. <laughs> yeah, that actually, I do. Yeah, yeah, no, so no. Qual's got both these questions, but instead of saying Ford, he couldn't remember his name and said the guy who played center at Michigan. And that was how he knew <laughs> nice. All nice. right. So you guys both blank there. We're going to move on to TikTok influencers. Uh, Neil Madrid, do you want to double? No. 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 All right. Here is your question. <laughs> Addison Ray's most viewed TikTok features her dancing to which hit song? Do we just need the name of the song or do we need yeah, the artist? The too? Song. I added the hit part. I was editorializing a little bit. Uh, do you remember, Ethan? I don't remember. I'm inclined to say, say so. Oh. Uh. Cause I feel like that was oh, so big it. for so long. Oh shit! You know what's crazy about this? I don't have the TikTok downloaded. I don't know even. I don't know who Addison Ray is. Oh, oh, <laughs> you Frank! Know? Frank, you should download TikTok just you for should. that reason. <laughs> I, I don't even know. No, I shouldn't. Like that's Neil, wrong. Neil, do you have any other ideas? No, I can't think of any other song names to be honest. All right, let's go with "Say So." Final answer. To clarify, is that say so by Doja Cat? You mean that? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I don't. I didn't ask for a reason because that's wrong. Um, Damn. Damn. Do you know it's so, I? I think this is WAP. Okay. I was thinking. Of, I was thinking Savage. I think but it's WAP. I'm savage. I'm gonna. I mean, I don't have any better guess, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go WAP. Final answer, Matt. Okay. That is correct. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Challenge. Shooter. <laughs> I think the point is shoot. possible. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know, and then I was just like, "What?" I was like, "I was like, that's incredible." Yeah, <laughs> it came to me. I was like, "Oh, it totally is." I remember, like, it was like a big that. deal. And if nothing else is for your team, Neil, we learned that Neil was a huge Addison Ray fan. Apparently. Hey, hey, if you're not an Addison Ray fan and you're on TikTok, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, I'm also not on TikTok. Okay, uh, don't blow up. This would stretch your lead to two. Zach King's most viewed video was a quote illusion inspired by what media franchise? I don't even know who this is. Isn't this that dude that like he like splices videos together to make it like look like I think I know who this dude is. This is the <laughs> most viewed video ever on TikTok for the record. Fuck. I think I've seen this. 
Um, media franchise, though. What is he? He's an illusion that... inspired by what media franchise? Progressing a company. Correct, Matt? No, no, it could be like like a TV like, show, a movie, a like, book. Or... Yeah, it's inspired by like something. That's oh, oh, I he see. does like special effects like on TikTok. So like, I I can't even think of the video anymore. <laughs> the guy I know is the guy that has like the gray face. That's the only thing I'm thinking of. Uh, oh, and I think that reminds me of Wizard of Oz. So that's good. That's what I'm gonna guess. Okay. And I don't know if that's the guy or not, but we're gonna go Wizard of Oz. Final answer. Okay. Chance to seal here. I believe Star Wars. It's got to be Star Wars. It's either I like Star Wars like... Or, or or Harry Potter. That's the only answers. I feel like things. Star. I feel like it's Star Wars because yeah, I he honestly... does like transitions and stuff. Yeah, so like I with played... lightsabers and shit. I don't really know what and the Force. We'll go with Star Wars. Final answer. Okay. Frank, you said it. It was Harry Potter. Potter. Yeah. What are you? Imbecile. What do you do? I don't even watch oh, what, TikTok. What? I didn't even look this guy up. I've it, never it's like a video of him, and it like he was he was huge on Vine. I know that's that. Why, it's an illusion. Yeah, so of course it's Harry Potter. Vine, Literally, Harry Potter. Potter. No, no, no. But Frank, 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 you don't understand like the type of shit he does. He does like transitional videos. So like Star Wars. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, I like, guess Star Wars was the second best answer. But my two options were purely based on the fact that those oh, are the media franchises that we're talking about. Yeah, he's like the fourth most followed person on TikTok. Yeah. No, yeah, but he's not on my for you page, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, okay, we move on to 2010's anime. Uh, double up, would you? Let's like cook, to... Frank. Let's cook. No, thank we you. We would not like to double. Okay. Right. Your question, Frank. Name the anime pictured below. This Tokyo Ghoul final answer. Tokyo Ghoul final answer. Yep. That's correct. Yeah. Apparently, everyone hates it. Like. I pulled that. Hey, bad. It's bad. Everyone hates it after the first season. The first, yeah, the first season is excellent. Gash. I literally excellent. pulled it from an article saying, "Is Tokyo Ghoul the worst anime of the 2010s?" <laughs> it also has the best opening song of any anime ever. Yeah. Um. Okay. Don't blow this for you guys. Um. This will give you the lead again. Name the anime picture below. So. Um. Does that come to mind for anyone? No. I can. Okay. I can use our. Uh, so, so EJ has a phone phone a friend. However, he's on Android, so we can't yeah. FaceTime him. Is there any way we could do this? Don't be honest. Your phone so I see. So I see a video feature <laughs> on. That would uh, be a dream, PD. I, I, it might be in the new update for iPhone, but it looks like I have a video icon. Your screen's uh, yeah, I know. So there's a video icon like as if there were a FaceTime, but I I don't know if it'll work. And I Let's don't be honest. Call. Does he get a pickup? He will. I yeah, think he will. <laughs> you could like use Facebook, Facebook Messenger. I, I was gonna say you can. That's risky. if you call him or and, Snapchat. If you call him, he answers. Um, I will start the clock if you send him like text him a picture and then have him call you back. I guess. You can text a picture while you're on the phone. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Let's just okay. do that. Okay. Just, All right. We'll give it a shot. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you're going to call him. You're going to send him the picture. And then once you it says the message has been sent, and then I'll start the timer. And then okay. he has to tell you the answer on like talking on the phone. Okay. So that's how we'll play it. Perfect. Um, right. Can he confirm when he receives it? Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. start the timer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I forgot. Oh, yeah. Christian, my man. Um, so it is 2010's anime. So they show a picture of uh, a scene in the anime and we have to name the show what's going to happen is i don't since i can't facetime you i'm going to text you a picture you're going to stay on the line with me you're going to confirm that you've received it and right when you say that you've confirmed the receipt you're we're going to start a 30 second timer okay okay all right i am Taking a picture and sending now. Let me know when you get it. It is suspenseful. Come on, Christopher. It's already it's pretty much already over, to be honest. It's so sad. It's so sad. So he gets doomed. He's received it. All right. Timer started. The timer started. What are you thinking? Okay. What do you think the answer is? It's Hunter X Hunter. Hunter x Hunter, and you're certain. I am 100% positive. 
Hunter x Hunter, final answer. It's impossible to get this wrong. If you've ever watched anime in your life. <laughs> Christian, you're oh, the man. Christopher. Appreciate you. Damn. Of course their phone right. friend works for the later. first time again. Yeah, I was going to say, is that the first time a phone friend's ever even answered for you That's guys? fucking cool. That's That's fucking I want you guys cool to understand like that. that the first one was pretty well known. He would have gotten that one too. But that is, like, top three most notable animes of all time. So. Well, it, oh. we, we used our phone It was doomed friend, so when like, you had somebody yeah. to call. I was so right. sad. Yeah, um, that was just... Unfortunate. Well, that's nice. very good use of a phone a friend, on the other hand. Um, yeah. Which, you know, first time for everything. Um, okay, sports salaries. So this category is going to be about comparing the salaries of the different major American sports leagues. So would it, either team like to double this? No. No, okay. I'm just, no. Every, every time there's a category, I don't feel like would traditionally be a double category. I just look at Ethan waiting for him to pull the trigger against me. <laughs> um, all right. Neil Madre, this is for you first. This will tie the game. Arrange the four major American sports leagues, MLB, NFL, NBA, NHL, by highest to lowest minimum salary in each league for 2021. Um, and wow. just assume it's the lowest possible salary. NBA does it by, like, years of experience to, like, the rookie minimum. Okay. Um, damn. I have no frame of reference for NHL. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't even know what their like minor league situation is like. In I would think NHL is. Up. I would think NHL is lowest. You'd think that, <laughs> but the MLB <laughs> gets paid like shit. They get That's paid true. like less than minimum wage. Okay, so for I, I'm lowest... thinking NBA, NFL, NHL, MLB, highest to lowest. To be clear, I think NBA I... coming in, you get a. Oh, fuck, but when you say minimum salary, you mean like practice squad included? No, off minimum. No, oh, for rookies. Okay, and, then and I would for, go. And for on the MLB team, not the minor leagues. Okay, okay, then I would go NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL. Final. NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, final answer. Okay. Incorrect. Wow, NBA. I like that answer a lot. So I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I was thinking of just switching the last two. So going NFL, yeah. NBA. Did he say NHL or MLB first? Uh, MLB. So we should go NHL, MLB last. I'm cool with that. I, I have I have no clue on the but the bottom two. I don't know. NBA might be number one though. Okay. NBA, NFL, and then MLB, NHL. NHL. Okay. Well, oh, full scroll. Oh, NBA, uh, NFL. MLB, NHL. That's okay. our final answer, Matt. Damn. I'm going to make a couple of this. I don't 100% remember this answer, so both teams remember what you said because you might have been right, but I'm pretty sure you're both wrong. That's right. The NHL is second. Yes. Oh, oh, what damn. the fuck? Yeah. What? Yeah. Really? Wow. wow. I guess it's because – That's you know, insane. Yeah, it is interesting. The MLB was last, Neil. Um, I think you misunderstood the question at first, but you still got that part right. Yeah, I did. I did, but like I answered after I understood. Yes, yeah, so the NBA is the highest. I think everyone kind of keyed in that. Um, but the NHL was second. So. Do you mean when you say like minimum salary? Do you mean like they average like all the draft pick salaries, and then this is no, the number that comes no, out? This is the minimum salary you can receive if you're full time. Oh, the minimum. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, all right. So we move on to Double Bullet's turn. They are up two to one. Here's your question. So same sports leagues, but what you're going to do this time is you're going to arrange the largest contract in each sport from the most valuable to least valuable based on the total money in the contract, not the average annual value. The total. Gotcha. Ooh. So, okay. so this has got to be baseball's at Mahomes. No, no, no. It's highest to lowest by largest contract total value. So Matt, to confirm, if it's a ten-year, three hundred million dollar deal, that versus an NFL, if even if you're getting paid less per year, it's the total value of your contract, right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. So then, MLB's yeah. got to be first because you can sign like three hundred million. Fucking Pat Mahomes just signed four hundred fifty million. It's got to be NFL, NBA. Fuck. No, MLB is more than NBA. No one's getting paid three hundred million. I guess yeah, it's NBA. thirty million in the NBA or like eighty million, hundred million. Yo, let's go NFL, MLB, NBA, NHL. How about that? Okay, I'm just trying to think to make sure. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like Ovechkin's uh, contract or something All right, like Nate, that. Lock it in because I, I forgot the order already. Let's go NFL, MLB, NBA, NHL. Okay. 
That's correct. Nice. Nice, nice job, Nate. Man. Let's go. Way to come in with the Mahomes yeah. reference. Look, I was so for I was so certain MLB was first. I, I was sure MLB was first when I thought of this question, actually. Yeah. Um I was yeah. certain MLB was first as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's very close to the top though. It's four fifty versus like four. I remember when Mahomes signed it. They were like, this is the largest contract in sports besides yeah. like soccer. So you don't blow a jump mm-hmm. up with a three one lead here, but we, now we move on to deep sea creatures. Uh, don't blow it. Do you want to double this? No. Oh, no. All right, Neil Madrid, this is for you. Frank, it's your time. Name the deep sea creature pictured below. Oh, um, gigantic tube worms. They're, they're tube worms. I, I don't know exactly what kind of. I, I, I think they're. <clears throat> yeah, I think they're like gigantic tube worms. That's what I'm going to go with. Final answer. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Giant two giant two Good for you. Holy shit. shit. <laughs> uh, I guess the video has helped. All right. One oh, more it's a... what, this will be your uh, two point lead back. Please be one that we just looked at. the deep sea creature picture. Or fish. Oh, no. 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 Fish. Unless he baited us, but I think I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm not answering a question for the rest of this game. I'm not or answering fish. a question for the rest of or this fish? game. I can't tell if they're bluffing or not because Dude, they've done no that before. Way. No way. Hey, get, get, take it and run. We don't take it and better, run. We don't wait. have a better deal. We don't wait, have a wait. Can I, can I just, uh, after the answer, but uh, yeah, I just have. Uh, uh, <laughs> take it and run, Ty. I'll go with Orfish. I, I love it. You guys yeah. good with it? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, what there was something going to say. Yeah. Okay. That's our. We got. We're about to get baited, but no, we're yeah. That'll not. be our final answer. That'll be our final answer. I'm fine taking that. Bait. Oh my god! No, no way. way. They they blocked no these creatures, and I put that in the in the. Wait, in the did, did they blocked these creatures, the and I indicated. No, Neil, we didn't Wait, block these blo- creatures. They blocked these creatures. creatures. This is no, bullshit. Neil. What oh, happened was I texted Matt what we were blocking. I lied to you about what we were blocking. Unbelievable. You blocked That's good. I would have gotten that wrong, Frank. I'm not wait, answering another wait. question in this game. Did you guys can play by you yourself. Did you know that or did Frank say it? He I said it. it. Frank oh my said god. It. I just that's why I was like time. that's I just why know I all of them. Kidding, because they did, you've done this before. I just so, I know, I just know all of them. <laughs> to be clear, Frank has only missed one of these ever. However, the other team has gotten two points in this category. Correct. I know all of them. I didn't know. I love DC creatures. <laughs> Frank, oh, it's very that. impressive that you know all these just like <laughs> off, off the cuff, no issues. Oh my God. Frank, it would have been a tie game. Yeah, oh, so suck my cock. So, Answer a question <laughs> right, and then you can talk to me. <laughs> it's not going to answer questions for the other team. To give the other team a point. Oh my God. Yeah, but I mean, it's better than not knowing any answers. Neil is actually leaving. <laughs> oh no, there he is. <laughs> no, no, he's just muted. So, Matt, I texted you that we're blocking tennis, and then as a I lied to Neil and said we block. We're blocking deep sea creatures. I love how Neil was talking about the great relations between our teams before the game. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we what did him game. dirty. We did you guys what dirty. Game. We apologize. That's is... <laughs> oh, okay. It's good. Yeah. This, this league will never die. This, this is the so reason. We get scrappy at the bottom. All right, we're two and five. <laughs> That's true. <Get> away. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> all right, March Madness upsets their next category. So either team want to double here? No. Neil. <laughs> No, no, he's not. Neil, stop playing. <laughs> yeah. to, to be clear, Neil is the only person who was a prayer of getting this right for your team. Correct. I, yes, I'm, I'm well aware of this. this. It doesn't matter. I, I'm not going <laughs> to double it if he's not going to talk. Nobody's doubling, apparently. Here's your question, uh, Neil Madrid. What 14 seed from the SoCon upset Duke in 2014 in the first round? From the Southern Conference upset. By the way, Neil, if you ever say that you knew the answer to any of these questions and didn't say that, Frank, do we want to? Frank, do we want to phone a friend? Do you have what? What friends? I don't have any friends that know. I mean, I, I guess all the same. Turk. I don't, dude. I don't trust Turk. Turk was garbage at this. I feel like, I feel like Turk might know this. Is he a or big March Madness guy? Wouldn't Noah know this? I don't know if Noah would pick up. Well, that's a good point. I'll I'll call Slenska because I feel like you would know. Okay, sure. Yeah, bets. All right, we're, All right, we're using our phone a friend. Putting our. Why are we calling Slenska if we thought Turk or if we thought that Noah wouldn't answer? Because I feel like Slenska is more likely to pick up. Okay. Oh, I actually just forgot who it was for about four minutes, so I just remembered it's so okay. Okay. 
Uh, I reached Nathan's phone. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my I'm god. Back to you as soon as I can. This is my point, dude. I don't know why Slenska was your uh, reliable answer there. 2014 14 seed Southern Conference. Uh, Five. Let's go with Middle Tennessee State final answer. That's a pretty good guess. Wrong, though. Very good. Nate, do you have any team in mind? Isn't this Appalachian State? or I was like, going to say, I think it's like a yellow team. I don't know why. Yeah, it's – um, dude, I remember this. I, <laughs> My first guess was Appalachian State. I can't I can't think of any other team. But, but for some reason, I swear, I thought there was yellow. Or, in there. or wasn't it like Louisiana Southern? Dude, I don't know. I'm just telling you. I think it was know. Louisiana Southern now that I think about it. Okay, let's, do, let's go with Whatever it. Whatever you want. Louisiana Southern, final answer. Oh, okay. Neil, not if you knew that. No, he, he just messages this Lehigh. Where is Neil? Yeah, um, oh, she said wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> so Lehigh was a 15 seed. I was actually just going to make this category times Duke got upset in the tournament because I thought that would have been funny. <laughs> but then I was like, if someone, I feel like the the Lehigh one was too notable, so there was like not another one on this level. Um, all right, double. This one's for you. What 14 seed from the Sun Belt defeated Baylor in 2015 in the first round? This is – no, this is not the infamous 2010 three round. Mm-hmm. Damn, I was going to say we should phone a friend, but I forgot we used it. Yeah, you did. Successfully. Yeah. Maybe this is Appalachian State? Aren't they yeah. in the Sun Belt? If we could. So 2015, this is what – I actually have no clue who is in the Sun Belt. year of high school? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have no clue who's in the Sun Belt, though. Yeah, neither do I. I mean, they're not going to get it. So. No help on this. <clears throat> Whatever. Appalachian State final answer. Great. And that is incorrect. Maybe Neil. No, Ethan, what's the Sun Belt? It's a conference. Do you know who it, who um, it is? I, it's Advanced somewhere division. presumably in the south. My guess is maybe south. <laughs> Never mind. Maybe, maybe southwest. Go Let's for go it. With, uh, Let's go with New Mexico, final answer. Wait, aren't they in the pack or like Mountain West? New Mexico had a good basketball program for a while there, actually. Uh, UCLA hired their coach before they had their current coach, but this is Georgia State. Um, oh, that's yeah. yeah, if you guys remember, oh, Arnie Barrett, the coach that. fell off, like he like broke his leg and he like fell off the scooter he had to be on. Um, that was pretty notable. Um, all right, so it's still 4-2, and we move now into Family Guy. Neil Madrid, you want a double? Both doubles still on the board, notably. All time. Can't watch this one. No. Okay. Neil, um, just ha- are, are we going to be speaking the rest of the game, or do you think we're taking it off? <laughs> I don't even know how we can do this with a straight face. I mean, you got to have a sense of humor about these things. All right. Anyway, we continue. Uh, Neil Madrid, how does Brian meet his 50 year old girlfriend, Rita, who he briefly becomes engaged to before cheating on her? So how do they meet? Is the whole team just going to be silent? They or meet in a laundromat <laughs> when he attempts to launder money for a cartel. Final answer. <laughs> Ethan's writing fanfic now. <laughs> I know this. I was I on a date with his with her daughter. Yeah. Yeah, he. Oh yeah, to you're totally right. On a date and she goes on a date with her daughter, or he her comes to pick up her daughter with another dude. So I mean, well, it's say how well, does, he was on. He was on a date with the daughter. Meet, how does he meet her? Is he comes to he comes to her door trying to take her daughter on a date? Correct. Yeah, that's yeah. what we want to say. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the final what it is. Answer, Matt. Yep. Yeah, he was supposed to go on a date with her daughter. That's correct. Okay. okay. Oh, my God. So that is five to two. It's still well in hand if Neil wants to start talking at some point. You never know what will happen. But you know, it has to be feeling good about being up three, which is one more participating member than Neil Madrid has. Um, all right, here's your family guy question. Where does Brian pretend to take Kate, his girlfriend who he meets at Disabled Ladies Night at the Clam on a lavish overseas vacation? <laughs> I remember the episode, I don't remember where. So oh, you can you can give me the city, the country, or the landmark you take. I think it's Paris. I was gonna, like, I mean, my mind immediately went to Paris. 
but like that oh god because she asked him a question she's like is this the eiffel tower or something like that and he's like yeah it is yeah right yeah <laughs> that yeah, sounds I, so familiar it yeah <laughs> it has to be paris yeah but let's just I'm just thinking if or like oh, fuck <laughs> i don't know man I mean, um, where else do you fake take a blind yeah, girl? I think, it, I think it's. But then, would they have to have been on a plane or something to get to Paris? So maybe. It's... Yeah, he pretends to take her on a fucking. Yeah, plane. they're driving. Oh, look at us. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's right. Paris. It's Paris. 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 Final answer. All right. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As he, he puts her on like a stair stepper and acts like they're on the top of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what it is. Yeah. All right. So that makes it six to two. Um, as we go on now to, we try to be topical here, 2010's MLB division series. I wrote this last week anticipating it's being the middle oh, of the series. Now they're all damn. over except for one. But anyway, uh, does either team want to double here? It's the last sports category. No. No. Frank, do you want to double this? No, sir. <laughs> all right, here's yours. You're going to see the lineup from a team in the 2010 DS. You have to tell me what team it was. Here's yours, Frank. Name the team that lost in the ALDS based on their lineup in the game they were eliminated. The ALDS. Ben Zobrist and John. Neil definitely knows the answer to this question. <laughs> which is the unfortunate thing. <laughs> Is this the Royals? I'm trying to think of who Johnny Damon played for other than the Sox and the Yankees. You know this? Yeah. I feel like this is pretty easy, but I, I know this for a specific reason. Okay. I guess we'll go with Royals final answer because Frank's got nothing. <laughs> uh, if it's not the Royals, it's got to be the Red Sox. That's is that where Zobris went after? Is that no, where this is before? Is it before or after? Yeah, this is before Kansas City. Okay. Um, but because I feel like I remember Zobris in a Red Sox jersey, but I could be wrong. But I know Johnny Damon played for the Red Sox. Okay. I'm gonna go okay. with the Red Sox final answer. Sorry, no. Red Sox. Yeah. Okay. That's also great. This is Tampa Bay. Ah, uh, shit. Like, I, th I thought he played for Tampa Bay, but I couldn't convince myself of it. I feel like we have a 50% uh, chance. I didn't of, even know. What year was this, Matt? Answering 50 for Tampa Bay. You know? Yeah, the uh, the center fielder there is BJ Upton, and the third baseman is Evan Longoria. Uh, yeah. All right. So, no. Hey, I'm just happy that I knew that Johnny or Johnny Damon played for the Royals. Did he? <laughs> Do you mean Ben Zobris? Was that who I was thinking of? Yeah. <laughs> That's who you said in the stream of consciousness when you said oh, the Royals. He did play for the Royals. He won a World Series there before yeah. winning World Series with the Cubs. And then yeah. his wife cheated on him with their pastor. Fun fact. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Really wow. Super fucked up. Mind blowing. <laughs> Literally stopped playing baseball because yeah. of that. Dude, he's right. sued. He's suing the pastor right now. Yeah, he is. He should. The pastor told him to like step away from baseball. <laughs> After my ass, he's a home wrecker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, double it. Same thing for you, except this is going to be an NL team. Here it is. Yes. Mm. I recognize these names. Oh, yeah? There's a couple people to pitch your beat. Ooh. Is this the yes? Who lost the NL team? The Twins. That's an AL team. Uh, my first thought was um, the Mets. But I'm not sure if that's right. Uh, I'll say I know for an absolute certainty Neil will know this, but he won't say it. Okay, where is Neil from again? Yeah, it's nothing new. Where he's from? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, just a random question. Oh, <laughs> All right, up, up to you, Nate. You would know the best out of us three. So I'm going to go with the Mets, even though I don't think it's right. Okay. Yeah. Got a chance here, Ethan. What do you got? Flex your knowledge. Orioles. 
That's an AL team, so no. <laughs> that was good um, you know that, Ethan. Congrats. Hey, they're in the AL East, so it's a little bit easier. Uh, Marlon Bird, I would have thought Justin Morneau. I don't recognize some of the other names. NLDS. Uh. Let's go with the Reds. That's the right division. Neil, do you want to please say the answer, please? Is he going to say it? Is this the Pirates? <laughs> yeah, this is the, the last one of the Rays. Is that Andrew McCutcheon at seven center field? Yes. yes. Yeah. Oh, um, it's Garrett God Cole. damn it. I Garrett knew Cole. I it's, fucking It's Andrew McCutcheon and Garrett Cole that are missing. God um, damn it. I knew Neil, it. did you know the first one too? Wait, what year is this? Is this, this 20, was, uh, <laughs> I think it's 2013. I think it's 20, 2011 or 2012. You yeah. guys would be oh, in this game right, right now. Throwing only 2013 pirates. So, so Don't say that out loud. It'll make Neil upset. To be clear, it really should be four to six right now, but Neil just decided not to say either answer. We still have our double too, so yeah. remember that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Neil. Do it for your own pride, if nothing else. All right, movies. Frank, do you want to double movies? Um, Yes. Wait, Nate and Yeah. It. So, Matt, is the next double one a sports movies? category? The next one is think, not a sports category. I think we're, we're done with sports. Yeah. Oh, I, feel like I, do, I do want a double movies. What's the next category? Should we go for a double <laughs> double? Double double. Sure. <laughs> What's double Do-ish. double? All right. Daily double. I feel like these movie questions are kind of tough, though. (laughs) No, I've seen every movie ever. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) All right, here we go. This is this is it. This is gonna be it. Hey, hey, Neil Madrid, if you sweep this category, it's a tie game. Yeah. Um, All right, here's your. Yeah. Then then it's then it makes it interesting. What Pixar film is the highest grossed animated? Oh my god. Ignore the random quotation mark I left in for when it was a different question. Unless it's a clue. I have two answers, by the way. And I, I think I know which one's correct. I have a couple ideas, but... You Say your ideas. If I agree with one of them, we'll go with that. I'm thinking Finding Nemo, um, Toy Story 3, um, Pixar. I, see, I'm, I'm thinking it has to be Frozen. Okay. I, yeah, I like that answer. Yeah. It's either Frozen or Finding Nemo. Those are the ones I, but I, I feel like Frozen just did so well. I feel like, I feel like more, more recent movies generally are higher up. Frozen higher, yeah. So I'm going to say Frozen, final answer. All right. Big steal here. I thought it was Toy Story 3. Toy Story 4 seems, uh, jumps at me. I don't know why. I, I think was Toy thinking Story 3 Coco, was. But that just might be like the most critically acquainted one which one coco i i don't think i don't i don't, I don't think, think coco i i think toy story 3 was like for the incredibles too uh I, I, i'm i'm good with toy story 3 okay okay we can toy do that. Story 3 final answer okay Frank was the closest. This is Frozen 2. Oh, oh my fuck. Wait, there's a second oh, Frozen man. movie? I didn't even know there was yeah, a second Yeah, there one. is, but I just uh, yeah. I should have just gone with recency. God damn it. All right, the fact that built on all the Frozen popularity. I assume right. the first one. Yeah. First one. All right, so, so Neil Madrid, you're still alive if you can steal this double. Um, <laughs> what DC character film, so it could be DCU, could just be any DC, I'm not specifying, is the highest grossing superhero movie outside of the MCU? It's gotta Wouldn't be it be bad. the Dark Knight? Yeah, it's gotta be. Gotta bad. be. Gotta be the or, Dark Knight. Unless the the sequels were more popular, but I feel like yeah, the Dark Knight was well, pretty damn Dark good. Dark Knight Rises definitely gross more. Um, or what other what other DC characters are there? There's the Ooh. Joker. Oh oh oh! It totally might be um. Uh, Batman vs Superman. <laughs> Uh, that will, yeah. Oh, maybe film. I feel like that was not that big of a deal, though. I thought it was, though. It just sucked. More recent, so people. it was. It could be Joker. It could be Joker. But Joker was like weirdly not a part of like that was like an independent. It's a DC like, character. Uh, I think I, I think we do uh, Batman Dark Knight Rises. Or Dark Knight. I'm fine. Batman, Superman. You need an answer? 
Okay, let's, fine. Let's go. Let's Dark Knight Rises. Rises. Dark Knight Rises. Uh, All right, this will keep you alive. You get it. I like. I like Joker. My other thought was Deadpool. Mm. No, no, that's the highest grossing R-rated movie. Not even close to the highest grossing. I definitely would not go Deadpool or Deadpool Two. I would go Batman versus Superman, uh, or I would go. I think Batman vs. Superman is probably right. There's another one that I'm thinking of that was like the more recent DC that might have been big, but let's go Batman vs. Superman final answer. This would be, Frank, what was your other guess? Um, Give me a second. I had it when I was thinking earlier, but now that Batman vs. Superman is stuck in my fucking head, it would have been not the Dark Knight, I don't think. It would have been the... No, fuck it. I don't remember, dude. Oh, is it Suicide Squad? It is not. It's Aquaman. Uh, Really? That's not what I was going to guess. Not what I was going to guess. Yeah. Fucking Jason Momoa. Yep, Aquaman. Really? Yeah, pretty interesting stuff there. All right, so we'll round this out with um, a fan favorite celebrity name puzzle. Oh, shit. Damn. Yeah, so double for that. Saved our double. Yeah, if you guys yeah. had saved your double, it would have been really interesting. All right. We saved our double to the last round like three times, though, and just gotten fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's it was true. like literature and shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the literature one. I've never heard the end of that. Um, all right, Neil Madrid. What celebrity is represented by the puzzle below? Courtney Cox, final answer. Fuck, I just got Damn it. it. Oh, that's it. Right. Fuck. Damn <laughs> it. Just had it. <laughs> Easy. Courtney. Oh, Courtney oh, Cox. Okay. Will has been watching this game from slightly off screen the entire time. Oh, I flipped them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it, so, soft outro. Um, don't blow it. Here's yours. What celebrities represented by the puzzle below? Brittany. Brittany. Ty- Ty- Spears. R- Rim. Britney Spears, so Britney Spears, but Britney, Britney, what other Britneys are there? Britney Tire, Britney fucking Britney, Britney Steele, Britney. It's got to be Britney Spears. Where's the Spears though? Those are um, like he's pointing at the inside of the tire. And it's called. Like, I know. A, oh, You're just pointing at the general spoke. thing there. Oh. Part of it. Sorry. Oh. oh, three of them though. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. I mean, how many Britneys do we know? I think it's Britney Spears, dude. Okay, we can go with Britney Spears. Oh, I mean, what else do you have? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> we'll go Britney, Britney Spears. Spears. Final answer. Spare tires. Those are spares. Spares. Yeah. yeah. Spares. Oh. Uh, this, this one was kind of tough though because I wasn't sure if it was Brittany or Jackie because it's a Union Jack. No, uh, that's just you overthinking it. If I had time. <laughs> I mean, I still got it, but. All right. So that ends seven three. What could have been if Neil had just answered on those MLB questions? Uh, could have been something interesting, but alas. Frank, you, know, you know, there, Frank. There's a saying: "Fool me once, shame <laughs> on you." Fool me twice, shame on me. I I really like when you give them answers, you just waste an hour of my time. <laughs> so like to be very honest, I, I legitimately don't want to play next week. And then immediately get over it. I feel Neil, like, like, don't, don't we have a bye next week? Uh, I'm not playing after week. that then. I, I won't no, play after. Okay, well then it's out of spite then, right? No, it's not yes, just it is. because they <laughs> give it Oh my god, I'm literally watching the family guy episode with the fucking lady yes right. and i apologize i'm sorry great great i'm so glad that that wins us the game right 